everybody take a look at the Airbus A317. Now, I'm always impressed about how the A320 practically comes in all shapes and sizes. I mean, this right here is the normal A320, but the A321, for example, is a lot longer, almost like a pencil airplane. On the contrary, the A319 kind of looks like a little baby fish. But I it's especially the Airbus A318 that's always impressed me with its babiness. Take a look at how short the fuselage is now. I mean, seeing this plane in real life, the effect is even bigger. Where you're like, how is this plane flying? I mean, it does fly. It does fly just well. Take a look at this cockpit. This is a freeware A318 for the X-Plane Flight Simulator by x you know, crafted with a lot of um, attention to detail. Not bad of a freeware airplane at all. We do not have fancy things like a cabin here, though. That is quite sad. But everybody, I thought, why don't we expand the range of A320 family even more? Have them have another child all the way from A321 down to A3. 17? <laughs> I mean, okay. All they did to craft these different models is, you know, make the fuselage longer and shorter. I mean, the wings kind of stayed. I mean, the engines kind of stayed. As well as everything else, the cockpit definitely also stayed. By the way, talking about the wings thing, don't the wings kind of look a little, you know, oversized for this A318? Well, that's another story. So I thought, why don't I do the same thing and make the fuselage of the A318 even shorter? And everybody, yes, that's exactly what I did. Everybody, take a look at the Airbus A317. Now, this one has, like, what, uh, 760 seats, maybe? I don't know. I mean, the cabin doesn't really exist. Everybody, I've taken a few hours of modeling time and actually... Oh, God, this actually looks horrible. But, yeah. But completely model the planes so that it's kind of realistic, right? We have the flight model. I think I might be in trouble, though. I mean, hmm, this looks like the nose is a bit short in comparison to the tail. I mean, but the, I mean, the, one third of the aircraft is tail section, which is just ridiculous. But the thing is, this plane actually flies for some reason. It's got an immense amount of performance. I mean, take a look at these CFM 56 engines, which I think they are. Might be the Pratt and Whitney versions. I can't even, I can't even tell. Anyway, we are able to, to fly super well. I mean, we weigh a lot less than the A318 even. Oh. Look, 30,000 kilograms. This thing weighs pretty much nothing. So that's great. Um, I'm not sure what's going on. I think I might have put full power into one engine because one is turned off. So let's turn it on again here. Uh, so like that, maybe. Yeah, and I, I think I've broken the entire cockpit. It doesn't really work too well. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, never mind. Yes. I mean, it, it kind of still works. It's just not clickable anymore. Ah, uh, this thing works still. That's interesting. Some switches do work, some don't. Uh, yeah, of course, I had to reposition the entire cockpit, and now giving in full power into the CFM 56 engines is actually genuinely, ridi genuinely ridiculous. Jesus Christ! We are literally faster than some Lamborghinis out there. Take a look at this. We are... That was such a quick acceleration! <laughs> and, well, the thing is, this plane flies, and it literally flies how it looks. We've got such a big wing surface for how much this airplane weighs that they're almost too overlifting. I mean, literally, I'm pushing down the nose all the way right now. By the way, take a look at the gear animation. Of course, I also have to bring the nose landing gear closer. Anyway, take a look. We are actually climbing. I'm pushing down the nose all the way, and we are still climbing. The thing is, it's like, like we can just climb all the time. So this is great. We have created the Airbus A317. Now, would this be useful in any way for airlines? No. Obviously, in this kind of size, would maybe take a CRJ or an ERJ, which have smaller engines, less fuel consumption. I mean, there's a reason the A318, which also has CFM56 engines, that, by the way, use quite a bit of fuel in comparison to the smaller airplane, like the CRJ, once again, or the ERJ, was so unsuccessful. I mean, only a hundred of these were built. Mostly CA-318s flying as private jets, because that's kind of convenient. So the A317 has no future, but it looks cool. And once again, has a millions of performance. So that means we'll be able to fly at airports where jets are not allowed. I mean, I know it's not the most original idea to fly to St. Bartholomew, but this plane actually is now kind of small enough in order to do that. I mean, compared to the PC-12. Just still kind of struggling here. Doesn't look too big anymore, huh? <laughs> So ridiculous. Have we talked about that part? Let's go ahead and actually take off here. Full power to the CFM 56. This will be no issue at all. So let's go. We have to go. Flaps are in the middle. Perfect. Take a look at this acceleration. It's insane. It's in genuinely insane. Yes, and we can take off without a single worry in the world. <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't know why, but the you know animations are kind of broken. But hey, A317 flies beautifully. All right, it's of course also time to try to land this A318. So let's go ahead and yeah, 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 giving a little less power. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how what's the lowest speed that this little plane can fly at. I mean, once again, we have insanely low weight. So I guess the lift of the wing must be quite high. So I mean, uh, hmm. I feel like this airplane stalls out at 130 already, which is okay. I mean, we've got zero weight. We still have the big brakes and the bigger ver Oh! Oh, and the bigger verse thruster of the A oh of the A320. Some come on, stop. 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 I didn't quite give in full power on the stopping right there. That was uh oh that was actually quite what a what the hell was this landing? Jesus. I just realized this um the fuselage does not have any shadows, nor does the landing gear. Uh, hold on. Aha! Much better, everybody. So, yes, everybody, it's about time we quit horsing around. I mean, you know, flying to St. Bartholomew with a 600-meter-long runway is something we've done on multiple airliners. This right here is the Saba Airport. Kind of looks trash now. I don't have the scenery installed. Anyway, let's go ahead and take off here at this airport with our A318 baby bus, which genuinely is a baby bus. This is not a baby bus now. This is like a... Um, Fetus bus. Let's go ahead and get the flaps all the way out. We are speeding up so quickly. This is a 300 meter long run, 400 meter long runway. And the A318 does not care. It doesn't care a single bit. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. This thing flies a bit strange, to be very honest, but this has worked just fine. Not bad. Come on. Yeah, something that's a bit strange is that I can't really get this player plane to fly very slowly. Come on now, 130. Okay, now we are relatively fast. I doubt that we're able to stop here. All right, now stop, please. All the way into the brick. Yeah, that's probably not going to work very well. We're a bit too fast of an airplane to stop at such runways. Although this embankment kind of was able to help us a little bit. I mean, take a look at the spoilers fully deflected. It's not a lot of spoilers right here. It's just a single surface, right? Interesting. So what did they go? This is the A317, a plane that definitely will never exist. Now that definitely um, also now clarified why. Absolutely makes no sense. I just wanted to, you know, see what I can model. It's interesting how this flies at all. Yes, full power here at Courchevel. No problem whatsoever. Sadly, this flight model is a little broken. I don't think the fly-by-wire works very well with the controls. That doesn't look too great. I'm really just interested in how the center of gravity works so well here. I have no idea how I managed to break this, but the animations on this, you know, vertical stabilizer and the horizontal stabilizers don't work. Um, so let's not talk about that. This is an insanely realistic airplane. In theory, this should be able to fly, and it does fly uh, almost too well. Everybody, the A317. Thank you so, so much for watching this useless video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters. Guns Killer, R27, James Duram, That Dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishititsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New The York. You've got beautiful names.